Our elk and wapiti have been a big part of the New Zealand deer industry since deer farming began back in the late 70s, early 80s. And the purpose of this presentation is to take advantage of the experience and knowledge gained over those 30 years in regards to the tricks and techniques that we have learnt in the handling of elk and wapiti. We, we have to be mindful that we're dealing with an animal the size of a horse, 500 plus kgs, um, and animal and human safety have to be taken into account when we're handling these animals. So what we want to do is minimise the aggravation that we cause them, and in doing that we move quietly, we don't want any loud raised voices or um, sudden movements. If you just work quietly with them, they'll be correspondingly quiet. One, one of the things with working with these guys is it's never a good idea to work with them individually or on their own. It's a whole lot easier with a group. Like that second one there, he's, he's one that'll, well you can sort of see he's got a bit of attitude. Um, on his own, that'd be quite dangerous, whereas with a group, we'll, we'll get him to move. So if I flip that, and that means I can just go from one sweep door to another to allow them to settle. And then what I want to do is draft two of those animals back um, so I'll just go around and use the shield to draft. Come on fellas. Come on Toby. It's only a sheet of plywood but it's got him foxed. <laughs> 